Hey there, thanks for joining us at 10 o'clock tonight as a mid-state woman renews a push for answers in her husband's death. Chris Spawnhorst was driving home on Christmas Day when someone shot him on I-24. Police sent out this picture of a black car hoping to find a suspect, but nine long months later, nothing. Our Danielle Jackson joins me live now in studio and Danielle, his wife Stephanie, you talked to her today. She wants that shooter to come forward. That's right, Lydia. It's been more than 257 days since the deadly highway shooting. Chris's widow, Stephanie, continues to plead with the public and anyone who, ha who was on the highway at that time for answers to hopefully find justice for Chris. It still feels unreal. Stephanie Spunhurst wears a necklace of her late husband's fingerprint close to her heart. Part of his ashes are in the angel wings. I know that justice will be served um, on this earth but it's God's time and not mine. That's where I struggle, but I just gotta do my part to keep sharing it. Sharing her husband's story of how he was gunned down on the interstate is so crucial because whoever pulled the trigger hasn't been found. He was just the wrong place, wrong time, and just driving home. And I mean, it could have been anybody. Christopher Spawnhurst was shot while driving on I-24 last year on Christmas day. Pictures show his pickup truck riddled with bullets. Police believe road rage was the motive. I mean, it happens every day, but to happen on Christmas makes it extra hard because Christmas will never be the same for these kids, for me, for his mom, for his sister. With no leads in this case, Stephanie is speaking out, hoping someone with more details will come forward. The last I heard, they're getting closer as far as phone intel. I know Detective Mathis is doing everything he can. Um, I know that all of them working on the case. She feels like her husband's death was preventable. The family, which includes their five children, are incorporating Christopher into their lives. Our 10 year old, this is his first year doing football and that was something he was supposed to do with his daddy. So it's hard. Um, Chris was born in 85, so that's Jacob's football member of a way of him having him with him. This widow hoping to find answers to bring some peace to her family. I just pray that if you saw anything, if you know anything, um, come forward because it could have been your family. I mean, it could have been your husband or your wife or your kids. A reward now stands at $20,000 for more for information that could lead to an arrest in this case, Lydia. Ugh, just a heartbreaking story, Danielle. Thank you.